Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Resilient Curls and I'm back with a new video. So in today's video I'm going to show you a simple everyday makeup look and if you are an oldie but goodie then I hope that you can see a real difference in my skin. But if you haven't noticed then where have you been sis? But anyway, I am going to finally put on makeup for the first time in like I want to say eight to nine months and if you're wondering why has it been that long then please check out my video if it's not up right now it will be up soon on why I stopped wearing makeup so without further ado let's get into this video please don't forget to subscribe down below click that red button and turn it gray then click on that notification bell so that you get notified each and every time I post a new video and if you like this video please don't forget to leave your comments down below because I do read the comments so I will be replying back to you as soon as I can thumbs up subscribe and let's get into this tutorial and if you're wondering about my hair this is a wash and go that I recently did and I tried some products a wash and go combo so if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this wash and go then check that video next I'll leave it above or down below for you in the description box. All the products that I use for today's video will be listed down below for you. And you can also check out some products that I have in my Amazon store if you're interested in seeing what I like to purchase on Amazon. Normally, now that my skin has cleared up, like I mentioned before, like I don't really like to put on makeup. But since this is an everyday makeup tutorial, I just wanted to give you that option just in case you have to go for a formal event and you want to look more put together. I definitely recommend that you wear as little of makeup as possible. So the first thing I like to go in with is a very clean and moisturized skin and if you're interested in my skincare routine I will be making that video soon so please thumbs up this video and comment down below. But the first things the first thing I'm gonna go in after cleaning my face is a primer and I like to use a very lightweight primer, so I'm going in with this Fenty primer. It's called the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Little pump. I'm gonna rub it into my T-zone. I personally like a clean and defined eyebrow, so I do go in and shape and groom my eyebrows up myself. So if you're interested, I'll leave that video down below. But I'm gonna just fill in my eyebrows. And that's about it. So if you see me looking down, I am looking into my mirror because I definitely can't see. And let me not forget that I always moisturize my lips before I do anything to my face because eventually I'm going to go in with some lipstick and I need smooth moisturized lips. So I definitely recommend Carmex. Comment down below if you're a Carmex girl or a Blistex girl. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and it's in the shade 410.
gonna be using the ColourPop concealer in the shade dark 42 just to highlight my areas I like to blend my concealers out using a beauty blender so this is the one from real techniques and I highly recommend it. It does the job and it's very inexpensive and it comes in a pack of two. So why not purchase it? More for your buck. And yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave it down below. I'm going to dampen it and I'll be right back. with my Sasha Buttercup. Gonna do a slight contour. I'm going with my MAC Skin Finish Powder just to set my face and to tie in the whole entire look. I'm just going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And of course I gotta go on with my MAC Fix Plus setting spray to set my face for the day. Hope you enjoyed this simple everyday makeup look. 
and I hope it gives you motivation if you're brand new to makeup that you don't necessarily need to use all of these products that I use today but just find what works for you and your skin type which is very very important and use it how you want to use it all right don't forget to check out some of my other videos which I'll leave down below whether it be makeup hair related check them out if you'd like show me some love leave me some comments let me know what you like don't forget to leave me some thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye